Hello, world folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. The spokeswoman for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle confirmed over the weekend the couple had indeed received an invitation to King Charles's coronation in May. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, have not confirmed whether they'll attend the coronation of King Charles. According to expert Kinsley Schofield, the couple's absence could be seen as another blow to the royal family. In an interview with Express, Schofield said that the Duke and Duchess may be using the coronation as a way to punish the royal family. Schofield said, I don't think we'll see either one at the coronation. I think that's why they're a way of punishing the royal family, when in reality, I'm not so sure that royal watchers wanted to see Harry and Meghan at the coronation. The Duke and Duchess have experienced a considerable drop in both support in the UK and US since stepping down as working royals in 2020. The recent releases included the documentary Harry and Meghan on Netflix and the Duke's memoir Spare, were met with intense criticism from the public. According to Schofield, the couple had been working on their PR strategy long before quitting royal life, or being forced to reconsider their approach because of the negativity. She said, they've been strategizing this escape. They've been strategizing this brand build since before they officially left the royal family. It's blown up in their face. It's backfired. And what we're seeing now are consequences of some really poor decisions. Schofield also noted that King Charles had repeatedly given his son the benefit of the doubt, but was now being forced to take a firmer position to protect the royal family. Charles is notoriously soft-hearted, especially when it comes to Prince Harry. He has given him the benefit of the doubt over and over and over again, he said. The expert suggested that King Charles could soon turn to the royal president to best handle his youngest son and his wife's tendency to overshare. Schofield argued that the king could adopt the same approach that the royal family took with the Duke and Duchess of Windsor to manage their relationship with Harry and Meghan. Edward and Wallace Simpson were mostly kept apart from the family after the king abdicated in 1936. King George attempted to keep his brother within the royal fold, first as a member of the British military, mission to France, and later as governor of Bahamas. But once Edward stepped down as governor in 1945, relations between the Duke and Duchess of Windsor and the rest of the royal family were mostly limited to family occasions such as funerals. What I'm seeing right now is Charles looking at the way Wallace and Edward were handled and saying, you know what? That might be the right way to go, said Schofield. We're going to distance ourselves. We're not going to give them a platform through us. So what do you guys think about this news? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.